here are my two essential items that I take with me just about wherever I go. I have a first aid, survival, everyday carry. I've got tons of stuff packed in here. 20 years of uh, being outside, hiking, camping, uh, I've collected a pretty, pretty comprehensive first aid survival kit. Uh, also take uh, this trade knife uh, with me with the contents in here, which I'll pull uh, out here in a minute. But whether I'm outside uh, doing a little bit of bushcraft, maybe a little bit of warcraft, maybe even some minecraft, these two items go with me just about everywhere. So, that's not a knife. This is a knife. This Schrade Extreme Survival Fantastic Knife. Inside, lots of storage room for, I have a little Gerber multi-tool, some chapstick, I have uh, one of these Bear Grylls Survival Pocket Guides. I also have, if we can get this out, I have a SOG fire starter also on the side, which is why I like this so much, is because it has uh, two sharpeners as well. So you've got a knife sharpener, which a lot of people forget. Uh, you'll bring your knife, but you won't have anything to sharpen your knife with. And, and also, uh, I've got some steel over here that I can start fires with. And uh, that thing actually throws off some pretty hot sparks. Okay, so I actually have another sharpening stone as well. A really small sharpening stone. It's not that heavy. Um, inside of this, I have... This is about 35 feet of gaffer's tape. So much better than duct tape. Duct tape is, is really pretty lame. Once you use gaffer's tape, you'll never go back to using duct tape again. But I have uh, 30 feet of 30-pound test. I have about 75 feet of 6-pound uh, test. I have uh, two fishing hooks. Uh, a weight and also a razor blade all wrapped up in this little uh, compartment here so that's what I have inside of my knife here's uh, my first aid survival uh, outdoor kit I've got a bunch of stuff in here but I've got to uh, attach the outside I'll start with that LED light super bright one of those that lasts forever whistle attached to the outside <laughs> Um, I, I've got this case. I don't know. I've had this thing forever. Super lightweight, and actually, I just stuff it full of all of my uh, my belongings here, and it fits. So I'm going to start taking some stuff out, and I'll just uh, start putting this here. And you're going to see how much stuff I have in this uh, this little case. But I've got Neosporin. I've got uh, vitamin A and D cream in uh, this little container here. It's just a eyeglass contact holder I cut in half. Here is my little med kit. What I do is I just use a P-Touch in an old camera uh, case, and I put uh, what it is. So in here I've got aspirin, uh, naproxen, Benadryl, antihistamine, uh, Vicodin, which is just acetaminophen, and hydrocodone, uh, Tylenol, which is acetaminophen. I have the milligrams, uh, what it's used for. I mean, I know what it's used for. Uh, but there may be people that don't, so I kind of include that on here along with the uh, expiration dates. And, um, you know, you can do your own research on expiration dates. I certainly have. Uh, some of these are old, but uh, I know the half-lives on these last quite a long time. So it's good to have that expiration date, date, uh, date though. That way, if your uh, medicine gets uh, too old, you can swap it out and change it. But uh, those pills are all just sitting in here. They're marked, so I've got uh, quite a quite a substantial stash of, of goodies there. Lighter. Sunscreen. Bullion cubes with a few cotton balls on top. Also in this front case, uh, this front compartment, I usually keep stuff that I may use a little bit more frequently uh, than stuff that's in the back. Insect repellent. Two hand and foot warmers to keep your nice little tushy and your footsies warm when it's cold outside. Emergency, 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C packets you can add to water. In here, mirror, hello, plastic card, 
plastic can be melted down, used to repair water bottles and all kinds of other things. Batteries. I've got uh, AAA batteries and two tampons. AAA batteries, rechargeable. I usually uh, bring with me a headlamp and a flashlight that uses rechargeables. I also have a wind-up. But what I typically do is I bring uh, full-strength Duracells or Energizers or something, and then I bring uh, rechargeable batteries uh, with me as well. And I will show you that I have a pretty nice little solar charger. Uh, this thing doesn't weigh that much. It weighs uh, maybe 8 ounces, 10 ounces or something like that. But it's a solar charger that I can actually plug um, a little uh, USB travel charger. That thing weighs uh, not even one ounce. And I can charge AAA batteries, so I've got tons of power that way if I need it. Okay, so uh, that's everything inside of the front pouch except I have a little Altoids tin. I really can't stand watching those little Altoid survival kit um, videos that are up here on YouTube because you just... You, yeah. I'm not even going to say it. Okay, so, but I do use the Altoid tin to store some stuff. It's a pretty handy container. Uh, and then by itself, I've got some tin foil. I've got uh, a couple of razor blades, uh, fish hooks, and uh, some weights attached to the top. I've got a snare and also a saw. This can be used for both. Super glue. No, in fact, I have two things of super glue. You should never, ever leave home without super glue. So many uses. I cannot tell you how many uh, small lacerations that I have uh, glued back together with super glue. That's what they use in emergency rooms, boys and girls. Okay, uh, rope. This is a spider line. It's about a 40 foot, 300 pound, maybe 400 pound uh, uh, tensile strength. Fantastic rope. So I keep some of that in there. I've got, uh, let's see, maybe six zip ties, fingernail clippers, couple of matches, uh, some more uh, fishing weights, and I also have a honing compound. I use honing compound to sharpen my knives. You can put that on the back of a leather belt and uh, keep your knives real sharp if you're out and lost and something happens. Okay, on to the good stuff. Most of this is first aid in here, but in here I've got uh, just a little container of, of uh, clean cotton balls. I love those film canisters. In here, you guys uh, can see tons of YouTube videos on this, but uh, essentially this is two cotton balls that have been soaked in beeswax. I, I work with wood a lot, so I've got uh, a couple pounds of beeswax laying around. Heat up the beeswax, soak your cotton balls in that. You can pull off chunks of this, and it uh, works as a great fire starter or a great candle. That be One of those cotton balls will burn for 15 or 20 minutes. Waterproof, you can submerge them. Great to have. I keep two of them with me. Ace bandage, more super glue, things that are light that don't weigh anything. I have no problem carrying two or three of them, like razors or super glue, something like that. Never can be too safe in case something happens. Um, in here, in this ca uh, little camera kit, this is uh, a repair kit. So I've got thread, floss, needles, razor, safety pins, some buttons. I can repair just about anything. I've got uh, some some very small cordage. I've got dental floss. I've got a bunch of different types of thread. I have razor blade. I have sewing needles. I have also uh, some very, very fine... It's almost like fishing line, but it's uh, it could be used as fishing line for sure. I forgot exactly what it's called, but... Uh, Anyway, so all that stuff is stored in there. Snake bite kit. Got to know how to use these, folks. Never, ever take your mouth on a bite and try to suck out venom. But if you do happen to have one of these around, they work well. Um, there's a tourniquet that's also up here. Uh, Got to know how to use something like this if you're going to carry one. Uh, portable aqua tablets. Again, it's nice to have a little P-Touch. You can put the dates on here. You can put what tablets are which, how to use them, instructions just in case you forget. Or somebody else has your kit. Something happens to you. You've got the kit. Somebody opens it up. They see everything that's inside. They can read it. Know what's going on. Light stick. 
med pack in here I have triangle bandage solar blanket gauze pad dressings Moleskin, Tegaderm, woo folks, fantastic stuff, waterproof, breathable, got to have this in your first aid kit. All that stuff I keep sealed in a Ziploc bag. Got a roll of adhesive tape. This is a huge roll of tape. I probably could uh, drop a little bit but uh, in weight, but this is uh, maybe, I think, two ounces or so. I also have some gloves that are stored in there, but this has so many purposes, so I just I just keep this whole roll with me. In this little canister, I've got some sting, uh, sting away, iodine swabs, some ammonia salts, and some Q-tips, all neatly stashed and packed in there. Again, these canisters are fantastic. They work great. All right, so last thing in my bag, in this, uh, in, in this zip lock bag, Here's all the good stuff. More razor blades. Antiseptic alcohol wipes. Tweezers. Scalpel. Another pair of tweezers. Forceps. Two, straight and curved. Another little uh, X-Acto knife. A pair of scissors. Three O four O suture kit. Of course, you hear people talk all the time about using thread to sew up something, or you can take apart the strands in paracord. But if you can get a suture kit, hello, so much better. Iodine swabs, alcohol prep. Uh, this stuff is essentially calamine lotion, great for uh, poison oak, poison ivy, uh, basically just a general uh, moisture barrier that you can put over any kind of sore or blister or anything. Iodine swab sticks, pain relief cream, and a little Band-Aid container with uh, Steri strips and butterfly closures. Stereo strips too, also very important to have in your first aid kit. So there you go. That is my complete kit. All right, so here's the final look at everything that I had in my bag and also the front pouch of my uh, Schrade knife. 20 years of collecting stuff. Boy, I've got a lot of things in here. This is a very comprehensive first aid, survival, outdoor, repair kit, everyday use. Uh, you name it, uh, I pretty much have it all covered. And uh, if there's anything that anybody out there sees that I don't have, let me know. I've got a little bit more room. I can stuff something else in it. And for everybody that's concerned about weight, which you should be, we've got the first aid kit here. Two pounds, 7.3 ounces. Trade Extreme Survival Knife. One pound, 7.7 .7 ounces. Yes, sir, it is a beast. 